the term evil is overused. A cult leader is not evil, not in the strict religious sense, not in the concept of true evil. They are perhaps disturbed, or they lack empathy, or at least sufficiently so that they will abuse, control, manipulate those around them. And when they have a large following, they will use that position in a very poor way indeed. Good religious leaders and good political leaders or leaders of any kind, they will be productive, practical, but they will have empathy, at least to some degree. They know that it's a useful tool, at the very least, even if they are a person with some questionable traits. But a true narcissistic cult leader, well, they consider themselves to be above those around them, to be superior, to be better. And what could be better for a narcissist than to claim to be God, or to be like God on some level? To be the divine prophet, to be the one who brings in the end time, to be Jesus in human form. It's just simply so obvious that these people fall into these positions so well. The sociopathic tendencies within big business are also a key point as well. Not quite the same thing, but certainly how certain traits drive certain types of individuals into certain roles and to step over the corpses of those they've, you know, surpassed and defeated. Very similar thing. And when they can find a sufficient following, a sufficient number of people to manipulate, they end up being in a very strong position indeed where they can get away with so many things making connections, they can get away with murder. With cult leaders, they have placed themselves on a pedestal, made themselves as good as God, if indeed not claiming to be God. And from there, they can live out their fantasies as they wish. It's how they would prefer to live, without rules, because they're above rules. That inflated ego, sense of self-importance, it's understandable that they would see themselves as being superior and above the rules that others follow. That's made for those people. And if they can find a way of breaking out of the system and putting themselves above the law, what could be better? Seems to be the case with so many famous cult leaders. Certainly with Jim Jones of the People's Temple. How he evaded justice for so many years, how he carried out abuse within the organisation, uh, very often against children. It's understandable that he would be a perfect candidate for this kind of cult leader, that he would in fact be a kind of person to have these certain weaknesses in his early development. Some of it probably is genetic as well. Certain precursors that lead people in a particular direction. That's been elaborated upon with modern uh, psychology and neurology. When they've actually realised how deeply these traits go, where it's not simply a question of a person had a bad childhood. You know, Charles Manson had a bad childhood, allegedly. His mother was, uh, at one point or another, uh, a prostitute, allegedly. And he was very often, you know, the kid having to hear the noises through the wall and being beaten and told to get out and committing crimes for attention. But certain elements in his development may, well, basically meant that he was latent for those sociopathic or antisocial personality traits and so it's not simply a question of a person being switched on in terms of bad activity or switched on in terms of genetics there has to be a series of triggers that trigger those genetic traits and when it's triggered in the right or should i say the wrong way you end up with someone who's very dangerous indeed that's true of charles manson jim jones and even many uh, eastern gurus who were in such a position of power really that it's no wonder they went to the extreme in some cases all that influence the ability to do as they wish and in some cases with older gurus decades of being practically a living god it's enough to drive anyone slightly balmy many of them probably didn't have the major triggers in their development at least not to any large degree but enough of them had the key triggers to basically make them less apathetic but it basically made them into a toxic individual and in a position of power they're bound to carry out any number of different acts